All right. Every week, me and the podcast boys make five NFL picks against the spread. Uh, we started out super hot, won a little cash early. We're in the Westgate Super Contest. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. We had a really good week last week, 4-0-1. And, and I thought it might just be kind of fun to let people see the process. We usually just go through this on a text thread. There's not a lot to it. Um, but I, I don't know. This is an experiment, and we'll see if it's cool or not. Um, I'm kind of just looking at games right now. I don't know if you guys have looked at much, but it's week 10 in the NFL, and we, we need five winners. Um, Thursday night game, kind of junk. I don't know if you guys are into it. Falcons, Panthers. You, I love the Falcons. They're kind of cover machines, but I don't need to play the Thursday nighter. Yeah, I definitely like the Falcons. I actually kind of like the over in that game too, but it's Thursday night, so I'd probably stay away from it because no one scores points on Thursdays. Um, but the Falcons have been machines for us all, all season long. Yeah. Although I know, the uh, the, uh, the Thursday night game is tough because once you play it, you have to lock in the rest of your weekend and with it being so early in the week, that would be difficult. But Mitch, I know you were big time in on the bills. And now that we've got some Josh Allen news, uh, that's knocking the spread down. I see Vikings are, uh, three and a half point dogs as opposed to the six and a half. It was to start the week. I think I like the Bills because Case Keenum, as we know him from the Washington days, can kind of get hot. He can kind of get hot. I was in on the Bills coming just uh, last week with them losing to the Jets. The Vikings have been sneaking by everybody, not playing particularly well. It uh, it kind of set up for a uh, for a good situation for Buffalo with Josh Allen out. That changes things a lot. Uh, I, I don't I don't know that I love it with Case Keenum. Definitely but- out. Judging by the line, I would say Vegas thinks he's out. I mean, it's a UCL injury. You see that in baseball all the time. Pitchers miss an entire season for a UCL injury. I, I, it's hard for me to believe that Josh Allen's not going. They're not going to give him a week to rest and see how that thing, see how that thing goes. Um, I mean, I, Keenum can get hot. But he can also get cold. I don't know about that. I I kind of like it because I feel like Josh Allen might just play, and then it's like. You're right. getting all the value. Yeah, I, I I would go with the Bills there. I mean, the Vikings barely squeaked by the Commanders. The Bills, anybody can throw it just Devon Diggs, whether it's an injured Josh Allen, a healthy Case Keenum. Their defense is still really damn good. They have the, the resources to hopefully slow up a Justin Jefferson. I think we hop on the Bills and uh, take advantage of a line that might be a little bit soft. I don't hate it. Um, yeah, I certainly don't hate it. <laughs> that's that's usually the bar we're trying to yeah clear. this is usually I how it goes we just it. start kind of like eh, i don't hate it i don't hate it i mean looking at the games this weekend yeah I, not I, kind of, I kind of think the titans could kick the snot out of the broncos i don't hate that game um I, actually you know what i'm in on the bills i like that all right one. i'm in on the bills too let's let's mark that down as one uh i, I mean, like what Pittsburgh. i tend to look for are like weird Either one side of the action is all is all one place. I got one I like, which is ugly as hell. I like, I like Pittsburgh the- at home against the Saints. That's that's my that's my stinky play of the day, of the of the of the weekend. I just looked at it. It's not. Are they coming off a bye? The Steelers, the Steelers are coming off a bye. The Saints are coming off obviously a short week and a and dismal the- performance at- against the Ravens. Right. I like the Packers at home against the Cowboys, and I yep. really like – I think the Cowboys are good, but Vegas is going to need the Packers desperately. How is that only a five-point spread? The Packers have been dog doo the past month, and Aaron Rodgers looks awful, and folks are saying that you can't even play him in fantasy anymore because he's been, he's been so bad. And then there are only five-point dogs against the Cowboys who are coming in rolling off a bye. I don't know. I agree with you, JP. I, I like Green Bay a lot there. Yeah, Dude. Cowboys being America's team, uh, I'm sure there'll be lots of action. They like uh, a lot of dummies, and not that we're dummies, but I feel like we're kind of elevated above that status this year with how hot we are. I think a lot of people look at it and go, oh, huh, Cowboys short number on the road? Beautiful. I think uh, Rogers have a little something to say about it. I could I could get involved with the uh, green and yellow. Where are green you? Green and gold. Been like I'm, a in a, cabin. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm in a coffee shop. I'm trying to, you know, with the forest behind me, I'm trying to pick out the forest for the trees and see these bets pretty clearly. No idea if that works at all. But, oh, uh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> Dude. He's doing his best hipster bit at, the, at, at a Southeast yeah. DC, Southwest DC uh, coffee shop. Let's be clear. 
we are elevated above nothing. Right? <laughs> like yeah. anybody thinks they're elevated above anything in the sports gambling world is a moron. Um, I kind of like. I'd also throw. The, go ahead. The road dogs in both Sunday night and Monday night, and that includes the Commanders. I think that number is just too big. But what freaks me out a little is that there's more money come on the Commanders than the Eagles. Like people love the number there. That'll probably even out over the course of the week. Um, because it's early. We're doing this on a Wednesday at three o'clock. Are yeah. you seeing ten and a half there for the for the commanders? I yep. see it at eleven. But I, has Westgate put up the officials yet? No, the officials are not up. Um, yeah, I, I would mean, say I, I, I think would... there's going to be a lot of money on the commanders until it drops to ten or or maybe nine and a half, and then I think people come back hard on the Eagles. Yeah, I, I, I and also those Monday night games are often bailout spots for people who had terrible weekends. I'm like, all right, I'll just roll with the undefeated Eagles. Commanders getting young back, hopefully. Maybe Jahan Dotson. Uh, the Eagles beat the Texans, but they didn't cover on Thursday night. And I think the Commanders are better than Houston. And hell, it's hard to go 8 0, 9 0, and continue to get up for these games. There's no Carson Wentz return. So maybe the stadium's a little less lit, although I'm sure it'll still be packed and rowdy in there. Yeah. Uh, if I had to pick that game, I'd definitely go Washington. I, I uh, I'm so used to us doing audio with these Zooms that I forgot that we're going to post this video to my YouTube page. So I just muted it to blow my nose and then realized that yeah, I'm nice. blowing my nose. Yeah. Um, I want to throw out another game. What do we What do we think about Vegas at home against the Colts? Dude, it's what's the, uh, what are the, what's I'm the too number scared right to. I mean, it's I'm got to be scared. the Colts, but I hate it. <laughs> I mean, taking the Colts right. would be the ultimate nuts on the table play, which are our favorite plays. We took. The Packers uh, – no, we took the Patriots playing the Packers when Bailey Zappi was the starter in Lambeau. We took uh, the Colts at home against the Chiefs early on in the year when that game stunk to high heavens. This is another spot where you play it, and about 100 times during the game you hate yourself for it. But if we play Colts Raiders, it has to be Saturday on Sunday. I got to hate ourselves play that I like. This is, this is, this is one of my five. Go ahead. Yeah. Texans plus five against the Giants. The numbers, certainly the, the money says go Texans because it looks like 70% of the money is on the, on the Giants. At 70%, the line opened at Giants minus six. 70% of the money is on the Giants and it dropped to four and a half. Do we, a little, I mean, I mean, that, that fits, that fits the, uh, that fits the model. If there's a model that we have, I mean, I, I, I think you could almost argue it's not quite as one-sided, but Browns Dolphins also makes no sense. So I, I shouldn't that be gonna, a six-point line? I was going to suggest the Browns. Last time we saw them, they beat the Bengals by 19. And the best way to handle the Dolphins is, I think, is to run the ball. And the Browns have Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt to do that really well. So I think Bills for sure. I think the Colts makes me sick to my stomach, which makes me like it. The Texans right. I can get behind, and I love the Brownies with the uh, three and a half there. You get the field goal cover. Um, Dolphins were in a tight one with the Bears last week. I know there's no Justin Fields on Cleveland, but they have Chubb and Hunt. Eat clock. I like Bills. I like Browns. I like Texans. I like, I like Titans. <laughs> so we got four, and yeah, JP and Mitch both like the Titans. I don't know. Do we need to probably wait and see what's going on with Tannehill and Willis there? Because Willis, they cannot throw the ball at all with him. It's Willis. All right. Well, if that's the case. I'd rather back off the Titans just because it's one-sided action. And you never know if Russ Wilson gets his – stops being an alien. Well, we could we could toss in our beloved commanders as the spin. Russ is too busy fighting with Pete Carroll from 2,000 miles away. They're arguing about wristbands, which – Astute Commanders fans will remember a lot of fun with Donovan McNabb and the wristband talk back in the day. I don't know. I mean, weird that he's still engaging with, with whatever the hell's happening up in Seattle. What about I mean a pair of a pair of roads. Didn't we say Green Bay? Was Green Bay not on our list that we just Oh uh, yeah. Is our list growing? Should we should we make extra picks this week? I'm just gonna get no. on so many winners. <laughs> don't even have to lock should... I'm just curious. Yeah, yeah. Dude, one of, and I'm not sure which one, but either the Jags or the Lions are going to cover. And and for me, looking at that, I'd want to see who I think could actually win. I think the Lions could certainly beat the Bears in Soldier Field. 
Jags are the Jags aren't going to be the Chiefs, but they could definitely cover that. And the action's totally one sided. But there's big action on that's one sided on both in both of those games. Both Chicago and KC are drawing big, uh, big percentages. I would I would look at the Jags because KC has what I'm looking at. Sixty percent of the bets lined open to ten went down to nine and a half, whereas Bears lined open at two and a half. Uh, Bears have seventy five percent of the action line moved up to three. So at least the the line's moving the correct direction. It's moving right. with all the bets. Whereas in KC Jacksonville, the line's moving back down towards Jacksonville, right, right, despite right. two thirds of America betting on the Chiefs. I like where your brain's looking. God awful. They can't stop anybody. So as long as Etienne and I mean, I, I think I feel like Etienne's the key in that game because he's really good and he's on yeah. my fantasy team, which Pete claims I talk too much about. Um, he's on my fantasy team too. I could I could be talked into the Jags for sure. I'd love it at ten though. We'll have to see what what uh what Westgate's open what Westgate opens it at. We can all agree that we don't want to touch. Seattle, Tampa Bay in Germany, correct? Or anti-international games? Yeah, not. I'm not anti-international, just period. I like I like the whole world, not just America. But in terms of betting, I am anti-international. Okay, I'm all domestic. I'm not, but you guys always are, and I'm just kind of along for that ride. Um, I mean, I'm looking. I'm, I'm going to bet the game picks. because I'm a degenerate. I'm going to bet the game because I'm a degenerate. I just don't think we need to pick it as one of our five. I'm looking at our past picks. I have a spreadsheet of all of our picks the entire year. We have never had a week. Wow. We've never had a week where we've picked more favorites than dogs. It's always been four dogs and a favorite or three dogs and two favorites. And this week with where we're trending, I don't think we're going heavy favorites. We love dogs. Supposed to. That's yeah. so, especially this year, the, the sport is so muddled. And aside from the two or three powers. All the and dogs are great. All right. Much better than cats. I can. Eh. All right. We don't have to yeah. put our final picks in. This is just some conversation. What? Where do you think we've settled, Pete? You're usually the uh, the, the yeah. doctor area. Yeah, the group. because I'm antsy. I like to really lock in as much as possible. We usually make our final picks on Friday afternoon. But I think Bills are 100 percent included on it, and I think Jaguars are 100 percent included on it, and the Colts are probably 80 percent there, just because of how wacky that is. Johnny Casual is going to be loving the Raiders. I think us over Who here in Sharpsville. Suck. Yeah. Yeah. The Raiders, the Raiders shouldn't suck. be six point yeah. favorites over anybody. Also, the uh, Colts no suck too. Yeah. The Colts suck it's too. a lot of suckage. All right. I think that's a that's a pretty good first foray for us on uh, this little random betting video we're trying to make here. Jags, Bills, Browns. Browns. Yeah. Browns, I think we like Colts. a lot. Then it's Colts, maybe. Packers, maybe. Uh, I think Texans Packers. maybe. All right, that was fun. Yeah, yeah. Typically, goes down over text message over the course of three days. So this is the most efficient we've been in trying to make our picks. Yeah, we'll see if we ever do this again. Goodbye.